Welcome to webdesignideas.com. All right, I'm going to show you how I create a web 2.0 looking logo in uh, Photoshop CS3. This is a simple way, a simple text logo with an outline and a glossy uh, front to it, I guess. So you use the text tool and just type in your logo text. Uh, we will use web design ideas. using the Arial font. Alright, I'm going to move it down here. Okay. Uh, let's see, my character, Arial rounded. Uh, we're going to want this thing to be green and we want the rounded or glossy rounded uh, face to it. So uh, we're going to apply a gradient style to the layer and to do that we're gonna need to um, use two colors um, when you're doing a, a glossy front uh, you're gonna need to have the top be a darker color and the bottom a lighter color so we already I already chose here dark green and the light green so you go to layers, layer style, and uh, gradient overlay. And just choose that gradient that we have set up over here. Like that. And as you can see over here, the dark color is at the bottom right now. And we need to flip it over to the top and you just basically change the angle to negative 90 so it just flips it over and click OK so we got the gradient set up uh, I'm going to make the text a little thicker by clicking this button here makes it a little balder, bolder, I guess. Um, okay, so now we're gonna create a lighting, lighting effect or glossy effect to the wording. Uh, hold down your control key and click on the layer here to make a selection. It selects the entire text and we're going to create a new layer for the highlight and we need to make this selection one pixel uh, smaller than the actual text so to do that you go to select modify and contract and we're going to contract it by one pixel And so we need to change our gradient to white. And up, uh, let's see, gradient is under the paint bucket tool. And you go up here and you need to change it so it's white on one end and transparent on the other. And now we're just going to drag from top to bottom and I'm only gonna start uh, I'm gonna start from the top I'm gonna drag it down halfway a little bit lower than halfway probably about three quarters and now I'll cut off the bottom half to make a nice clean cut effect and I just select it and hit the delete key on my keyboard here control D will deselect so now you can see that it looks glossy already. Now we'll add some outline effects. And to do that, we go back to the, the f uh, original text layer. And we're going to add an outline layer effect or layer style. Layers or layer and then layer style and outline, outer 
outer glow. Um, first, we're going to do the, the outer, outer glow, which is going to be the darker color because I want the, the immediate outline to be white. And white on white is invisible, so we're going to do the secondary out, um, outline in a darker color. And I'm going to make it in blue, so I'll just change that to blue. Here, like that. And so we got our blue, and we need to change the blend mode to dark or darken and opacity all the way to a hundred percent let's see the size you're gonna have to play with it and see how it looks I just wanted to kind of spread out maybe opacity yeah, 80 percent looks better it has to be just a little bit transparent but we'll come back to this once our, out, our white outline is done. Uh, click OK. And so now we need to do the white outline. And we're going to do that by uh, duplicating this layer. Right click on the layer, say duplicate layer. And the one that's going to have the white outline has to be on the top of the, of the, the secondary layer. So and we go back to the... Uh, let's see, gradient out, uh, gradient overlay. Double click on that, it'll open up the layer style window. And, oh wait, what am I doing? Outer glow, outer glow, that's what we want to change. Okay, and just change that to white color. Okay. And then that's going to be lighten and opacity at 100%. We'll size it down and make the spread or slide the spread over to the right until you see how it spray, um, how the outline looks over here. And I just want the edges or the, the areas between the letters to just kind of blend together and the size of the outline just to be about like this and that looks good and okay so we go back to the blue outline just double click on that and now we'll play with that to make it look right Something is wrong here. Darken. I just wanted to barely. No, softer is better. Just kind of like that is good. So there's your logo, looks pretty cool, kind of like floating in clouds. And this is for the white background. Uh, for the darker background or black or something, all you would do is basically you delete the blue out outline and it will stick out nicely. Or you can change the color of the, out uh, the blue outline on the black background. So let's just change that right now and see how it will look. So we will change the black and I will fill the background with black. And now I'll go into the previously blue outline and I will change the blend mode to lighten. We'll change the color to something like, I don't know, red. red outline I don't really like it but it's decent looking and you can see how you can play with it and change it and stuff as you want 
anyway that will be it and hope you enjoyed it